Jayco is a great tool for allowing us to complete many activities of daily living. One of the most critical of those is administering your own medication. A great way to practice this skill is by using candy. I've laid out a few different kinds here in front of me to represent pills in different shapes and sizes. As you'll see shortly, Jayco is able to manage all of them very easily. There are two methods that I personally use to take my own medication. One is by picking the pills up one by one and just inserting them into my mouth. The second way is using some sort of container or vessel. My personal preference is using paper cups like this one. A great way to start though is just picking the pills up one by one and putting them into your mouth. The best way to approach your medication is generally going to be with Jaco's fingers pointing in a downwards position. While doing these movements, I'm going to be very slow and deliberate about the movements I'm making because these pills are quite small and if we hit them or uh, grab onto them uh, incorrectly, they might go flying and we don't want that, especially with our medication. So just make sure that you're going very slow. And I can see right here that Jayco's third finger is actually going to be in the way. It's gonna prevent me from getting lower. And for all of this, we're only going to need to use our main two fingers. So I'm going to extend Jayco's third finger all the way out just so it's not in the way. And we're just gonna use two fingers for all of this. So again, let's come down very slowly. And I'm going to be very careful that I'm not crushing Jayco's fingers against the table. I can see right there that I've got a very good angle to grab this candy with. So I'm very gently going to grab it. You're going to want to be very careful with your medication. Some pills can be quite brittle. Uh, Jayco's fingers are not so strong that you could hurt yourself, but you might be able to crush medication accidentally if you're not careful. So just go very slow until you're well versed and practiced in this activity. So I'm going to lift up this candy and there, we've got a very good grasp on it. As you can see, I've gripped it very nicely between Jayco's two fingers. And now I'm just going to bring this right up to my mouth. Something I should mention is you should try to clean Jayco's fingers as often as you're able to. Uh, before I started filming this, I did clean Jayco's fingers and you should do the same, especially if you're going to be picking things up and putting them into your mouth. So again, I'm just going to use B3 to aim Jayco's fingers. And this is, there's no set rule of how to do this. You're just going to want to approach your mouth however you feel comfortable. So here we go. There we go. So we've just administered our first medication. So now let's try our second method of putting multiple pills into a paper cup and then taking them that way. This can be useful if you're taking a lot of medications throughout the day. It can also be useful for pre-portioning your medications for a set period of time. Say if you have uh, care staff available, they can lay out your medication into one of these paper cups uh, say your morning, your evening, your afternoon pills, and then you can administer them yourself as needed throughout the day. So let's start putting our pills into this paper cup. Again, the best way to go about this is by pointing the fingers downwards, and we still got our third finger out and out of the way, which is good. And we're gonna come down very slowly, and it's always important that you can see what you are trying to interact with. Uh, so I've just turned Jayco's fingers so you and I can both see what I'm doing. So we're gonna come down a little bit and I've just brushed the tabletop with Jayco's fingers. So now I'm gonna close them. Okay. 
and we're going to lift. And now I'm going to gently deposit this into our paper cup. There we go. Now let's grab the rest. Okay, so we've loaded up our paper cup with all of our medication. Again, it might be better for you to have somebody else to load up your paper cups into pre-portioned amounts. But again, whatever works for you, uh, however you prefer to take your medication, that's great as long as you're following your doctor's orders. So now we're going to pick up this paper cup and there are a, different, uh, a few different ways that you could approach this cup to pick it up. Uh, I think the, the two main ones are either going to be top down, like we did with our, our medication here when we were picking them up one by one, or grabbing the cup uh, from the side like you would with uh, a drinking cup. So let me just show you. So this is our top-down method, and honestly, this is probably not one I would use personally. Uh, but it's going to really depend on how you're sitting in your chair and your personal preferences, maybe how full the cup is. I'm just showcasing this as an option for you, uh, and whether or not you use it, that's up to you. What I would recommend, and what I do personally, is I would grab this paper cup from the side like a drinking cup. So let me just place this back down. Okay, so this is back down. Uh, because this is a paper cup, I don't wanna crush it, which would prevent me from getting the medication out. Uh, but if you're using a different vessel, uh, like something more solid, like a, maybe a, a glass, uh, you're not going to have to worry about crushing it, but because this is paper, I just want to be very careful and really grab it as much as I need to. Okay, so I've grabbed the cup, and I've got a good grip on it. So now I'm going to bring it up to my mouth, like I would for uh, uh, if I was drinking a cup of water. up there we go okay so we've just explored the two main methods that you can use to take medication with Jayco of course, there are probably literally millions of different medications on the market, so you can adapt these methods to your own uh, needs and wants uh, to do what you need to do. A great way to practice this skill, again, is by using candy like I have here. So head down to the store and use this as an excuse to buy a little bit too much of your favorite candy and practice, practice, practice. This is an excellent skill to develop, which grants you a high degree of independence. I hope you've learned a lot and you're able to administer your own medication with great success. Thanks to Jayco.